My name is Vail Karupia. I'm a consultant surgeon, foot and ankle in Nottingham, uh, which I've been for the last three years. I work with Nottingham University Hospital and also have some private practice at the Ramsey in Nottingham. Body and surgery is essential a surgery to correct toe deformity. I've got a model here. So that's a normal toe, which looks straight. And a bunion toe deformity is that the toe is deformed to one direction. So any surgery essentially is to treat this deformity by breaking the bone at that level and that level and resetting it. So that head goes into the recess. So what's different about minimal invasive surgeries, we don't make huge cuts, which a traditional surgery would perform. I do it through small cuts. Essentially, that has its own advantage. We'll come to it in a minute. So I make small cuts using a specialized tools, like a dental drill. The bone is cut and reset, and we put a few screws to hold it in place. So that's the difference between minimal invasive bunny in surgery and open surgery. So the advantage of minimal invasive surgery is the surgical technique. The technique doesn't involve stripping the soft tissue along with the bone. So essentially it doesn't give much pain. So post-operatively pain relief from the surgery is not as bad. Any body in surgery is painful, but a minimal invasive body in surgery has less pain compared to an open surgery. So essentially the recovery time is also less. So most open surgeries will take about eight weeks to 12 weeks to recover to get back to regular activities. Whereas a minimal invasive body in surgery, four weeks you can start driving. And essentially I say about three months before they get back to sports. That's one major advantage from recovery, but actually there's other advantage from a surgical point. Since we make small cuts in the skin, infection risk is very small and very minimal. Swelling is minimal, getting back to normal shoes so it's quicker. And the toe doesn't become as stiff as an open surgery would, would happen because we don't invade too much of the soft tissue. So overall, there is a lot of advantage in the minimal invasive surgery compared to an open surgery. I must be honest, all invasive surgery is painful. There's no, no pain, no gain, as they say. But in a comparison between two groups, you have somebody who has open surgery, you ask somebody who had a minimal invasive surgery, they are far more less painful. They are painful, yes, for the first 10 days. The first two days is the worst period where you have to take some essential painkillers and rest it. But after by 10 days time, usually they're quite comfortable to get around the house, make a cup of tea or uh, make their own lunch. I tell them to actually reduce their activity for four weeks just for the fact that it's going to be so if they do too much. But after two weeks, usually most of them are quite comfortable. The first four weeks is the essential key thing. I tell most of the patients, don't go to work, don't drive. Keep yourself restricted to the house. You can pot around, go to the toilet, back, mix a lunch, cup of tea. Those are fine, but keep it minimum. Four weeks onwards, it's full on scale to get back to regular activities, which mean, I mean, you can go back to driving. If you want to go back to work, yes, as long as you phase yourself towards your activities and sports by three months, that is, which is contact sports. If you want to go to the gym, just lift some weights, it's fine. But if you want to do some running, I say three months. So overall three months to be back full fledged to almost 100% capacity of your normal activities. Yeah, straight away. I'm very uh, keen in getting them walking on the feet straight away. I give them an essential shoe, which is a bit supportive and hard sole, which I provide. It's called surgical shoe. It's nothing more than open sandals. That is just to support the whole thing with a dressing on. You can walk on it. We give you some two crutches just for your support for the first few weeks. You don't have to essentially use it. And by four weeks, first thing is to take, get rid of the shoe, get rid of the dressing and get rid of the crutches. And most of them are, are ready for it by then. Minimal invasive bunion surgery is as good as an open surgery. I can say that without any uh, issues or qualms about it. In fact, it's better in some ways. For an open surgery, for a very severe bunion deformity, a minimal invasivity is far more effective compared to an open surgery. So it's as effective as an open surgery, if at all anything, it's better. In some ways, on the long run, the recurrence rate is minimal compared to an open surgery because the surgery involves essentially bony correction. There's two essential parts to a bunion surgery. One is you correct the soft tissue and realign it. Another one, you correct the bone and realign it. But minimal invasive surgery is dependent more on the bony correction. Recurrence from bony correction is far more less compared to a soft tissue correction. So it's, if at all anything is effective or even more effective than an open surgery. <laughs> 